Okay, so with all the work I've been doing on my N64, I realized I got a little bit of a problem with the sticks on kind of my controllers. I found a guy on eBay that was selling replacements for four bucks. Um, and right after I ordered them, I saw a guy on eBay, or not eBay, on Reddit say that he had gotten the same ones in and his opinion of them was they were junk. Which, of course, was right after I ordered them. There's the weavers. Um, but I ordered three of the joystick replacements, which are these, um, as well as three new battery doors for my wave birds, as I have misplaced those. Um, that made battery doors, I mean, they either fit or they don't. But what I was reading on these is saying that they don't have the control and they don't feel as nice. There is, I don't know how well you guys can see this, there is a little bit of play in the zero, um, but it's much less than what I've got. Yeah, you guys can see that pretty well. So I'm hoping that it's not too horrible. It definitely doesn't look quite as nice as the original N64 uh, joysticks, but the console is 20 years old now. Um, original replacement parts are getting very hard to find, and original controllers in good shape are very hard to find, as honestly, I call it a design flaw. They do not hold up under workload. It's a game console. It's gonna be worked hard and put away wet. Well, hopefully not actually wet, but the saying works. Um, God, do they use enough screws? They buy their screws. Don't get me wrong there. But, come on, Nintendo. Okay, that actually, I did actually have to remove those. So, we're already in the meter. really need to figure out how to make this camera zoom faster on my phone. So, and again, everything's backwards. I mean, right off the bat, the circuit board on the originals is internal. Um, and you do have to keep the Z button. But there's definitely a major difference there. I th One of these, I actually tried to do something with the joystick. I actually took apart the housing and tried to clean it up, hoping that maybe if I got some of the crap out of it, it might work a little bit better. Honestly, it almost seemed worse. Alright, so the old one's out. And out, completely out of frame. There we go. So th this is the new one. This is the old one. You can see the circuit board is exposed on the new one. I really hope I'm picking it up because I'm actually talking down, unfortunately. Um, oh, okay. I also didn't realize just how much... It's not showing up real well on my phone, but there's a lot of pink sticky crap. Well, I'm assuming it was sticky at some point ten years ago. All over that joystick. This particular controller has apparently seen some stuff. Really, what the guy on Reddit was saying um, was generally just that they're not as nice. And I agree. Right off the bat, they are not as well made as the original Nintendos. But for five bucks, there's not a huge loss if it is a pile of junk. Okay. That's in. Also, you got a lot more cable on the Chinese one, which you're gonna have to route somehow. 
I really need the clearance controller properly. I'm not going to go into details on cleaning this. Again, it's something that's covered by a lot of other people. Um, there goes the extra screws. Let's see, he's mushy as crap. I have something to up wrong. Okay, so, Nintendo, Chinese, I'm going to cut right here, rearrange a couple things so I can get the Nintendo plugged in and the TV set back up, um, see you in a second. Alright, so I rearranged so that I can hopefully, yeah, that'll work. You guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. in Star Fox 64 which is probably one of my favorite games of all time I'm out of frame I've also got my phone right in front of the N64 which is acting as control again um, it's actually nice and stiff I like the old controller or the old joystick which was very loose This is actually a really good choice. Shit. My finger slipped off. I'm trying to keep in frame. Oh, that was my bad. I missed. I'm not the greatest Star Fox pilot ever. Probably said use a bomb. But the point of this experiment is the stick, which unfortunately is constrained by my flying capabilities. Yeah, I'm still mostly in frame. Alright, so that should satisfy you guys. No, it's not the greatest experience I've ever had on a 964 controller. That is still truly a brand new N64 controller proper. Um, but considering how hard it is to get a brand new one with a good joystick, I'd say that it is not a bad buy. Um, it is a little stiff, and I imagine it probably won't last for a very long time. But, for five bucks, I'd buy it again. Alright, so this went a little longer than I had intended. Um, but, the only time it really screwed up was when my finger slipped off the stick. That could be, it's a very smooth plastic. I don't know how well that's going to actually show up. It's a very smooth, very hard plastic. This is... it. I know it's not actually any softer, but the OEM stick... Actually, you know what it is? The OEM stick, the ridges are higher. So you get a little bit better grip, whereas the new stick, they're not as... They're not quite up as... Thanks for checking out the video. Um, Honestly, I've got to say, for a replacing stick, it's not half bad. 
See you guys in the next one.